And this is my office. What do you do? I'm a doctor for women. What do you do with them? I deliver their babies. Deliver? When the woman has the baby inside of her, then I go in and I take it out. No, you don't. Everybody knows that the stork brings the baby. Uh, who, who told you that? My daddy. Okay. Well, the stork um, puts the baby inside of the mother, <laughs> and then I go in and I take it out. Uh -uh. The stork brings the baby to the hospital, drops it in the bassinet. So you're saying that the baby is not inside the mommy? Then why is it that the mother gets real big? Because she eats a lot of food. <laughs> now let me get this straight. You say that the stork carries over, puts the baby in the bassinet, and the mother is real big because she eats a lot of food. You got it. I see. <laughs> well, then why is it that the mother has to go to the hospital? The stork brings the baby to the hospital, drops it in the bassinet, the mommy goes to the hospital and gets it. <laughs> if the stork does all that, why doesn't the stork just bring it to the mommy's house? <laughs> because it's too far, his wings will get tired. <laughs> Where does the stork get the babies from? Heaven. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> There's a zillion, skillion babies in heaven. How does the stork know what baby goes with what mother? <laughs> on in the line. You know, like you go to the bakery and get a number? <laughs> When I put my hand on the mother, I could feel things moving all around. That's not a baby. What is it? Gas. Thank you for explaining it to me. You're welcome, but you still didn't tell me what you do. I'm in charge of gas. <laughs>